Hi everyone, Jennifer Hancock here. I am a humanist, founder of Humanist Learning Systems. And um, I teach humanism, I teach humanistic leadership, and also how to stop bullying using behavioral science techniques. I am currently reading Jeff Hawkins book, A Thousand Brains. Get it. It is a very brilliant book. Uh, but what I want to talk about today is something he mentions in the book, which is how do you know when you're wrong? <laughs> and that's a very important thing for us to learn. Humanists are very concerned with critical thinking. We want to make sure that our decision making is based on reality as much as possible, because we know if we get our facts wrong, then we don't have facts at all. And we're going to make a mistake even with good intentions. So how do you know you're wrong or that something you believe is false? Well, the answer is actually quite simple. You have to find out if there's evidence that proves it wrong, all right? It's not about validating the belief. It's about invalidating the belief, finding out if you are wrong, being open to and actively seeking out information that proves you're wrong. And for obvious reasons, most people don't do this at all. <laughs> but I think it's a really great approach to the problem of whether or not you're, you've succumbed to false beliefs or not. Now, our brains are big, gushy things sitting inside this box that is our head. It is, they're not perfect. They make mistakes. We make mistakes. And the way to correct for that is to be open to correcting that. And that means finding out if you're wrong. So what he recommends is you go out and you look for things that prove you're wrong. If you, all you do is talk to other people and they validate your viewpoint, that doesn't mean that you're correct. It just means other people agree with you, but you all might be wrong. So look actively, look for information that contradicts you. The good news is our brains allow us to learn. So if it turns out we were wrong, we can fix it and accept that information. But that also means that when you're talking to someone and they say you're wrong, your job at that point is to not say, no, I'm not, and everybody agrees with me. No, your job is to say, show me the evidence. I'm happy to admit I was wrong. Show me the evidence that I am wrong. I'm eager to find it. If the other person can't pri provide that information or that information doesn't exist, okay, fine. But don't just write it off because of like political or tribal reasons. Ask for the information that proves you're wrong because that's how you find out whether you're wrong is by looking for that information that tells you you're wrong. That's the only way to find out if you're wrong or not. If all you're doing is you're in an echo chamber with people who agree with you, you're never going to know. But you have to look at the evidence when someone says you're wrong, ask them for the evidence. That is how you find out. If there is no evidence that you're wrong, okay, fine. That tells you something. But always remain skeptical of yourself and what you think is true and be willing to be corrected if someone presents you with evidence that you are wrong. Bye.